Hi everybody, Marco Carvalho here from businesscreditbuilders.org. Today's video, we are gonna talk about how to get a virtual business address and phone number for your company. Uh, in particular, we're gonna share with you a comparison of the many virtual office programs that are available in the marketplace. We're gonna break them down for you step by step so you can see the cost differences, what's gonna give you the big biggest bang for your buck. Now, as you know, there's, there's standalone services you can get. We know you can get uh, virtual mailboxes, there are services out there that offer a, a, a business phone number that, that ch tracks you down to wherever you go and it's one phone number, or local or toll free. Um, there's virtual assistants you can hire that can help you take incoming calls, etc. So the purpose of this video is we're gonna share with you how you can get a service that has all those benefits in one package. So that way you don't have to get a service here for this, a service here for this, and try to get them all to work together. Why not have all of that package into one platform, one service, one plan that all seems seamlessly works together efficiently for you. So today's video, we're gonna share with you uh, those type of companies that offer that services and we're gonna share with you our favorite one, of course, that gives you the biggest bang for your buck. So let's get started. More importantly, uh, the, the one particular service we're gonna share with you also helps you build business credit. And as you know, with this channel, we're all about helping you maximize your ability to build a credit-worthy company. So why not, if you're paying for a service that helps you uh, take incoming calls, helps you get a virtual business address, a business phone number, your faxes, everything in one platform, and also reports your monthly payment to the business credit reporting agencies, there's no better way to do that. And so that let's get started with this particular uh, uh, video. So first and foremost, you'll see we mentioned virtualofficeplan.com. That takes you to our provider that we, we love as, as Opus. Uh, so don't go there yet because we're going to share with you a couple of breakdowns of other virtual office services to, so that way we're giving you a comparison. Uh, but hybrid businesses, what's that all about? Why do they work today? Obviously, you know, there's major corporations that are utilizing remote working. Uh, it's all about being more efficient. Uh, some people obviously don't want to drive as much, go more green, let's say. Uh, they don't want to uh, be driving so much to the office space or they rather work from home. Uh, but as a business owner, being a startup or a small business, how can you take advantage of having a hybrid business yourself? And now there's many different programs and services that allow you to integrate that today's technology to run a very efficient company, uh, to run it how you want, where you want, and the way you want, and when you want, at uh, like a major corporation, but at the cost that, that, that makes it very affordable for you. So. Uh, hybrid businesses are great because they give you increased flexibility. So in, the, in virtual offices, you have flexibility as far as where you want to run your business. So not only can you choose a location that's a professional office, that's where all your mail, cor mail correspondence gets sent to, but you have the ability to use the meeting rooms of all the other locations all across the country. So if you have to meet a client and you're, let's say, traveling and you have a client that you're meeting in, in let's say, Texas, and uh, you could select a location there and for only 20, $24, $25 an hour, you get a professional location that you can use because you're part of this network. You're part of a virtual office system. Okay, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of flexibility for you. Um, also, you have a lot of cost saving strategies, so, saving strategies. So rather than leasing office space, which can cost thousands of dollars, hiring an assistant uh, there to, to take incoming calls, et cetera, ha hiring employees, you can have all of that in a virtual office plan. So you're gonna save a lot of money uh, compared to going the, the latter traditional route. You have an enhanced efficiency. You also have consistent communication. What does that mean? So that means when you have people calling you, let's say you're working a full-time job, you wanna start up a, a business on the side, but you wanna run a nice small business, but you can't take all the calls during the hours that you work at your job. So you're kind of trying to, how do I, how do I juggle both? Well, when you have a, a virtual assistant with your virtual office plan that uh, takes your incoming calls from, let's say, 9 to 5, they know what hours you set that you can take incoming calls. So suppose you can only take calls from 3 to 5, but from 9 to 3, let's say you're at your or 7 to 3, you're at your job. Okay, so between 7 and 3, your, your virtual assistant still answers the phone when people are calling you, but they can transfer it to voicemail, they can take a message, and during the 3 to, let's say, 6 hours, let's say you, you set your hours for that, then she knows when a call is coming, she could transfer them to you uh, via your cell phone, and the call gets transferred live. Okay, so that's what's really cool about having that consistent communication. You have customers calling you, they're either going to speak to your virtual assistant taking calls, 
or they're going to be talking to you when they transfer calls. So that's what's really unique in, in with this particular hybrid business model. So before you start, what, what does this all include? Most virtual office services that are out there will, will include these particular things. They'll give you a business address so you get to select the location you want your business address to be. Now for business credit billing purposes, we get a lot of people ask us, well, I heard a lot of banks don't like virtual offices. Uh, Etc. Now we're talking about your business mailing address. So when you're having a virtual office service, you're setting up a, a business address that that's where your mail can get sent, etc. But you can also use you can also have a separate address, which is your physical business location, could be maybe your home address. So maybe you be may have your physical address as your home office, but your business mailing address is your virtual office. That way, all ma mail is separate from coming to your home. It's getting sent to an actual corporate location. Okay. Now your business phone number is another uh, benefit that's included in most virtual office services. Uh, our particular provider, they also list your business phone number in the 401 directory. And as you know, that's one of the steps we talk about. You hear all the business credit coaches out there talk about getting your business 401 listed. It's kind of having a footprint. Uh, that way your business can be found. Uh, uh, when people are searching for your business, your business phone number. So that's included with uh, virtualofficeplan.com is they give you a business phone number plus they list it in the 401 directories. Live receptionist, that's uh, some services out there have a cost involved. We're gonna break down the different major services out there here in a minute, give you a little chart. Uh, but they, uh, this particular uh, virtualofficeplan.com, which is Opus, is they include a live receptionist. So that's someone who answers the phone call with your company name, and they can direct the phone call, they can forward it, they can take a message, so that's where you set your own hours, which is really nice. Um, some services have additional fee if you want a live receptionist. Uh, then there's a business fax number you can receive, a call forwarding. So these are all typical services, uh, like virtualofficeplan.com does include uh, all of these. Okay, so if you look at all, the, this is no additional cost for this, it's one flat fee, which we'll get into in a minute. But more importantly is they report to the business credit reporting agency. Uh, so this helps you build business credit. Uh, your faxes convert to email, a uh, voicemail converts to email. So that's where all this technology ki kicks in and makes it very seamless for you. Okay, so let's talk about the different types of services out there. You may be familiar with them. There's Opus, which is virtualofficeplan.com. We set up that domain name to make it simple to go right to them. We have a relationship with them. We love their service uh, and promoting them for years. Uh, DaVinci Virtual. Um, Cloud VO, Regis, uh, so these are all the different services that are available. Uh, and now if you see with Opus, uh, they have a live answering service included. So I don't really need to go through every single thing, but you can see the differences in costs. Uh, there's minimum contracts, there's setup fees involved. Uh, but when it comes to what's what you're getting for $99 a month, $100 setup fee, you're getting all these benefits without additional costs involved. Obviously. Opus stands above the rest as far as cost. So if you're all about saving money, you want to get the biggest bang for your buck, um, definitely uh, consider uh, Opus, uh, virtualofficeplan.com. Uh, we love them. Uh, we've been promoting them for a long time. Uh, but of course, all the other ones are very reputable. You can do your research on that. Uh, now, what I want to talk about also is <clears throat> the uh, what happens uh, when, you're, when you want to get a virtual office. Can you walk through the process? So I'm gonna share with you how to do it with Opus. Obviously, it's very similar across all the other platforms, but uh, the first thing you wanna do is when you go to uh, virtualofficeplan.com, that's gonna take you to Opus, um, and is you first need to select a location. So I'm gonna kinda of share with you uh, what I recommend to you to do. So let's say you wanna get, um, you want to get a virtual office in Florida. So you type in the location right here, and they're gonna do a search on what uh, particular offices are in their location. You'll see there's lots of different selections here. These are all the different cities uh, to select your location. So you're going to want to select one main location, which is going to be your business address. What's nice about this, though, is once you have a plan set up, is anytime you travel anywhere and you need to meet a client and you need a meeting room to meet them, is you could find a location, you're already in their system, and you, you can book that meeting room right on, on this website. Uh, for only 20, I think it's $24 an hour, um, which is nice. What I recommend though, is if you plan locally to meet with clients on a regular basis, then you wanna select a premium location because these premium, premium locations actually have meeting rooms, they have office spaces. So let's say for example, you're, you're in Miami 
uh, and you want to select a premium location, you can cl click on this location. And they give you some breakdowns in the actual location, which is nice. Uh, you can actually uh, see it on the map, see some more pictures. There's a video on this location. This is a meeting room that you can have. Uh, your live receptionist is going to be here, which is really cool. Uh, but that's that's as simple as it is. It allows you to do your research, find the location that you want. Um, you can check on the map where they're located at, what other surrounding businesses are there. Do they have all the accommodations that you want? And if so, you're going to choose that location. So you click this green button. The next step is you're going to now set up your virtual office plan. So you're going to put your name, company name, phone number. You're going to you selected the location. Now some features is there are additional features that they have, some additional technology service that for additional fees. Uh, but all those ones I talked about in the, the presentation are already, already included. These additional features that they'll list here that are maybe some additional things you may want. Uh, then you finish and get started. Now uh, let me kind of take you back here to uh, booking a meeting room, which is really cool. Uh, if you go back to the okay. So you see right down here, let's say now you're already in the system, you can access your meeting rooms nationwide right here. So you can click right here and you can reserve a room for, it's $25 an hour. Uh, but you'll see this, any any meeting room, anytime you wanna book a meeting room, you can go here and book a meeting room if it's not at your actual office location. Okay, so that's another really neat uh, benefit um, to the virtualofficeplan.com. And uh, now, once you choose the location, of course, you're gonna set up, complete the form. Uh, you're gonna receive a confirmation and a welcome package to get you started. That's where you're gonna provide to them. Uh, uh, they're gonna provide, uh, they wanna know that your name of your company, uh, what hours do you wanna have set uh, for taking incoming calls or having it transferred to voicemail. So those are all the, the basic things you have to set up to have your business up and running. But that's as simple as it is. Uh, and now, as far as credit reporting goes, they report to Credit, credit Safe, which is an international business credit reporting agency. They're now also re, uh, have a business credit reporting uh, in the United States. But these are just some of the companies that actually use this particular Credit Safe uh, credit reporting agency. Uh, and I know you hear about Dun and Bradstreet, you hear about Experian Commercial, Equifax Business. There are other business credit reporting agencies out there. Uh, those are the big three. But uh, this particular service does report to Credit Safe. Now, uh, these particular services also use Credit Safe. They report to Credit Safe, so uh, they really make a nice big footprint in the business credit space. Uh, so this will create a credit so a file for you with Credit Safe. But what's also unique too, and we did talk about this, is, is once you have this set up with Opus, that becomes a trade reference for you. Okay, so on credit applications, if they do ask for trade references, you could put credit say, uh, excuse me, you could put Opus Virtual Office on there because you have a relationship with them. You're going to be paying your monthly uh, fee to to sign up for the service. They only charge ninety dollars a month, ninety nine dollars a month for um, uh, this virtual office plan, which includes everything I just share with you. There is a hundred dollar setup fee as well, um, but be sure to, to go back to that chart to kind of give you a breakdown if you have any questions. Um, now. Hybrid business models work, and I want to just kind of break this down to you as to why, because uh, this particular plan here, um, remember we talked about you decide with hybrid businesses where you want to work. So with virtual office plan, Opus, they have 650 locations you could select from. So that's where you can decide where you want to run your business. This is a turnkey office setup. It's very simple. And how you want to run a business is, of course, you could have your virtual assistant. You could just determine what hours you want to work. So that gives you that flexibility of, of working where you want, when you want, and how you want. And this helps you build business credit, which is huge. Okay, so with that, um, if you found this video helpful, I know this is a short video, but I want to share with you uh, the different type of virtual office services out there. Uh, be sure to check out our main website, businesscreditbuilders.org. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Click the subscribe button. That way you're always notified when we're coming out with new videos. Make it a great day. We'll talk to you real soon.